Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk about everything from tech to films and all the fun stuff in between. So guys, for first time iPad buyers or even for those who are looking to get the maximum out of their shiny new colorful iPad Air 4, here are a few essential accessories that would complement the iPad Air 4 perfectly and also help protect your device and aid in productivity. Just before proceeding, please show your support and subscribe to my channel guys and I will continue making fun and informative videos for you. First, I have a case here. See, no matter how much you hate cases, I don't think the iPad is totally usable without one. I recently reviewed a few ESR cases and this is the favorite one of that lot. The links will be in the description so you can check it out guys. Here I have another case guys and this time it's from the manufacturer Easy ACC or Easy AC. I did review that keyboard case on my channel for the iPad Pro and it's still a great option for those who are looking for cheaper alternative to that 300 pound Apple keyboard case. This thing almost works for the new iPad Air 4 as well but it's just that the Touch ID and the speaker grills. I will check and see if they do an iPad Air 4 case and I will link it down as well. So let's get on to the case. It's a pretty simple one here. EasyAC was kind enough to send us this case. So it opens as instructions. Let me get that out and then, yeah. Okay, wow, that, that feels very good actually, the quality. It feels so nice in hand. Really, the case inside and out. It definitely feels so nice in hand. And yeah, it's got a hard back, but uh, yeah, the edges seem to be all right. Let's let's see how it'll feel to get the iPad into the place. And as you can see, it's got yeah, only the edges are covered. Pretty much everything else is open, so you'll have easy access anyways. So let's try to get the iPad in. Yeah, the top goes first, so the button side. And then let's tuck that in. Wow, actually that felt easy. Even for a hard case, it felt all right. I mean, it was straightforward and it, it felt very easy to install. Wow, cool, there you go. Very slim, access to everything, speaker grills, the touch ID button to your side magnetic connector and the bottom and it's got that sleep to wake magnets are sticking in place so it, everything is staying in place and then the apple pencil yeah perfect it stays in place as well let's check the viewing and typing angles now uh, if you see there, I don't think it's giving you that upright. It's actually, yeah, I think it's, but it's staying. Let's have a look. No, it's not. So it's not giving you that upright angle. It's actually falling down, but it's still usable. It's just my personal preference that I feel a little more upright would give you a better typing angle. Just needs a bit of additional magnets there. Let's look at the viewing angle. Yeah, that's pretty decent. That stays in place and that's pretty decent actually, no issues. Yeah, that's staying right in place. So yes, all around a very nice case actually. I mean, the quality feels much better really, much better to hold in your hands. And yeah, it doesn't add too much bulk as well. It's got the right camera cutouts for the microphone and the camera at the back. And yeah, it feels nice to hold in hand. So there you go, guys. That's the easy act case for the iPad Air 4. Next, see, the iPad Air has got the excellent USB Type-C port and it's insane not to use its full potential, right? And this is where the simple 20 pound anchor dock comes into picture. This is from a very reputed brand, has got one of the best packagings for a 20 pound product and comes in this neat and handy carry pouch. 
It also gives you two additional USB ports, an SD card reader, a micro SD card reader and a HDMI port. All seriously useful if you are planning to connect additional storage or turn your iPad into a productive warehouse. The most I use this adapter is to connect external storage devices including my portable hard drive, SD cards directly from my camera and pen drives. I also hook up the iPad to an external monitor via HDMI and add a USB and Bluetooth keyboard and mouse as well. This setup really helps with productivity, which brings me to the mouse. The one I'm using here is directly from Microsoft. The model number is 1580 and Microsoft does do some really good mice. It's small, wireless and easy to carry. And it works perfectly fine with the iPad Air 4. Now, Apple adding the USB Type-C port, it gives you all the added advantages, but at the same time, Apple took something away from the iPad. And it is that 3.5mm headphone jack. Now, everyone's moving to wireless earbuds, but if you still like to hang on to your old pair of wired sound, then this simple 3.5mm to USB Type-C headphone adapter will help. It's directly from Apple, so there will be no issues regarding its quality or compatibility. I got this for around £7 from PC World, but yes, you can directly buy it from Apple for under £10. Next is a seriously insane little piece of kit. And it would immensely help for everyone who is looking to add some additional storage to the iPad. It's this tiny USB-C magic. This small stick hosts 128GB of storage. Seriously impressive, right? It costs only about £18, but you can find it cheaper on Amazon Prime deals. And the beauty of it is that you don't need any external dongles or pass-through charging. Just plug it in and you'll have an additional 128 gigabytes of storage at your disposal. True, you cannot install apps onto it. iOS doesn't work that way, guys. But everything else from DVD, Blu-ray rips to your eBooks to pictures, you can happily store away on this device and access it when needed by simply plugging it into the USB Type-C port. I really recommend this to all users who are bummed about the fact that 64GB is still the base storage on the iPad Air 4 and you don't want to pay over £750 for that 256 option. And look at the size guys in comparison, this is seriously impressive. Moving on, let's talk about that wireless world. There is no denying how popular wireless headphones have gotten and seriously, Apple once again redefined this genre with the AirPods. Yes guys, they are the first to do such kind. I have checked the facts in detail. So, every other manufacturer from Bose to Samsung replicates these now. The AirPods don't fit so well into my ears, so I missed out getting these for the first few years. But once I got them, I don't think I'll use any other earbuds than this. Seriously, they're so comfy in the ears that you'll almost forget that you have them in the first place. And they sound so much better than the earpods. And strangely, they fit better compared to that earpods again. They are a bit pricey, but seriously, the amazing integration which they offer, the speed with which they charge and the comfort which they provide is unparalleled. So save up guys and invest in these. They really are worth it. Then let's get on to the Apple Pencil. Okay, I will have to admit that this is a specialist requirement. Not everyone needs it. If you primarily use your iPad for surfing the net, watching movies, general email stuff and online shopping, then you don't need the Apple Pencil to navigate. It's utter pointless in that case. The iPad was mainly designed to be a multi-touch interface device to be interacted with your fingers. And for all the above mentioned, you can absolutely do it with your fingers and you do not need the Apple Pencil. But if you use pro apps like LumaFusion, Photoshop, or you're a student or an artist, then the Apple Pencil is for you. The iPad Air does support this Gen 2 Apple Pencil now, and you can seriously benefit from it if you're looking to use your iPad for productivity or for school or college purposes. Which brings me to the last two items on the list, which I've been saving as they are kind of related to the Apple Pencil a bit. They are screen protectors. Again, the brand ESR was kind enough to send us these to test it out. I have two different ones here. Let's get the standard one out of the way first. This is tempered glass protector and 
If you've seen guys, I have been using ESR screen protector on my iPad Pro for the past few months. This one I have bought it from my own money and I can tell you that it's pretty decent. It does its job, you know, keeps the fingerprints out. And even after a couple of months of usage every day, it still looks like this. So I can happily recommend this guys. You will have no issues when you're using this. So that's the unboxing bit done. Comes in decent packaging. And you get two in the box. So that's pretty nice. You get the cleaning kit. That's good. And yeah, the best thing which I love about these is that you get the applicator frame. This makes it so much easier to apply the screen protector. I mean, if you have ever tried installing screen protector without this kind of a frame, then you know, guys, how difficult it is. So let's get the iPad. Yeah, it definitely needs that cleaning kit, actually. So let me open this. A cloth wouldn't cut it. So what we're looking for is that alcohol wipe. Yes, that's it. We need that. So I'll use the wipe to get it nice and clean. And then the frame. This is nice and elastic, actually. It kind of stretches this frame. It's not tough. You know, you can... Yeah, it's better you do it with the iPad turned off, really. Because you see the frame is kind of pressing against the Touch ID button and it's in working Siri. But for now, I'll just do it like this. So there you go, the screen protector out. And it says to lay that side on the face. So I'll peel it off and then just drop it into place and wait for like a couple of minutes. And there you go, that's installed nicely. I'm just cleaning it. Just try to get rid of the air bubbles. Shouldn't be difficult. Um, ideally, if you get one of those card things and you, or you use your old credit or debit card and just get the air bubbles out. So there you go. Now your iPad is a perfect mirror. I've actually just seen some American YouTube channels and they, they pronounce it that way, mirror. It's not mirror. That's how I would say it. Yeah, from all the YouTube channels of the Americans, they actually say it as mirror. It's cool to call it that way. But yeah, there you go. The screen protector is installed. You lose a bit of the anti-glare coating because the screen protector, well, basically it's a mirror. So, but it provides protection for your screen against scratches and all that. And yeah, the fingerprints, which I showed you in my other video, I do recommend to get this and install the screen protector and use it that way, guys. Now, here's the next interesting one. It's the paper-like kind of screen protector. I haven't used this before, so this will be the first time, guys. And with the Apple Pencil, I definitely want to test it out how it works because it's meant to improve your experience with the Apple Pencil and make it feel like you're writing on paper. Again, ESR, thank you for sending this to me. I am quite excited to try this. So that's why I left it until the end of the video. So there you go. That's the unboxing done. We've got some new tools in there. Let me see how it works. So you've got two again. That's brilliant. Cleaning kit, instructions again, standard. And yeah, you got this bit of tools. I, I don't know what they are for yet, but we'll find out in a minute. And then, yeah, there you go. That's the card which I was talking about. I don't know why you don't get that in the tempered glass screen protector kits. Not just ESR, but, you know, I've tried others and they don't include that. It's because glass screen protectors, it kind of eases it out. I mean, you don't have to remove the bubbles, but probably for this one, it's different. So let me just look at the instructions now. Actually, that looks like a USB plug. It actually goes into the USB port. One end is lightning and the other end is USB type C. So let's see what it does. So yeah, I figured out the instructions guys. This is how it works. The screen protector, the sleeve has got these two holes. So you stick the plug in that two holes and then you stick the other end 
into the USB port. And then you close it like that. And then you peel off the layer down and then you slowly lay the screen protector on top of your iPad. Pretty neat solution, actually. It aligns your screen protector perfectly and you won't have any issues with it, actually, as it lays correctly in place. And then you have to peel off this top coat as well. And there you go. That's the screen protector installed. Wow, that's pretty neat and very smooth. And then you just even out the bubbles if you can find any by using that included card. Okay, so first try, so I didn't really do it perfectly, guys. I'm pretty sure that the next one, I will do it perfectly fine. But for you guys, so you know how the instruction works. And so that's it. Look at that. It's got that matte feel. And when you're swiping your finger, you can definitely feel it, actually. There is like a texture to the screen protector. But the amazing, amazing thing is, it's completely made your iPad anti-glare. I can just hold a huge light in front of it and you won't see it. I'll show you the difference in a minute, but it's amazing. Now let's try the Apple Pencil out quickly. Wow, yes, that feels like you're writing on a paper, guys. One of those rough papers, not the really smooth books, probably. It's slightly, you, you can feel that texture. And to be honest, actually, it is improving your experience with the Apple Pencil because the other one, if I write it on the other glass screen protector, it's very smooth. You know, it's almost as if it kind of slips off every time. So you can't get that perfect handwriting. Whereas this one, yes, it certainly helps. And yeah, if you're a student or if you're an artist, I think you get a better control with the screen protector on. I will leave links to all these products in the description box below, guys. And I will also include offer codes. If there are any discounts, I will definitely mention it down below as well. So please check it out. So that's it for the video, guys. Hope you found this useful. And if yes, please drop a like down below and comment down and let me know your thoughts. Also, please do subscribe and show your support, guys, and I will continue making videos like these for you. And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.